I remember when we went to, when we went to Paris, we were staying at this place right next to the um, Moulin Rouge, and we went to we kept going to this pub at night, just sort of sit about at night, and uh, so kind of a bit busy, the guys a bit rushed, and I went, um, uh, can can I have a Vin Rouge and Diet Coke. And he served us right. He served us right. That was it. Served. That was it. And then I went away. Right. And then I don't know. Another night. <laughs> another night. We we're sitting in there. It's quite a wee, quite a wee place. And it sort of served us quick. And this this woman came in. And he's sort of like, yeah, ch- chanting like, I think he, he knew her, right? Um, it was a wee bit, it wasn't he, it wasn't he busy, it's quite it, like, almost like a cafe sort of pub thing, right? And and I asked for whatever I asked for, I attempted some sort of French, basically Van Rouge instead of red wine, that's it. Um, I said bonjour when I walked up. I said uh, merci when I walked away. Um, but I asked for something, right? He went, right, right, and then got it, right? And he was sort of talking to her, right? And then when he gave me the thing, he came up with something in French. And I said, and I think he said parley. Something, something, something kind of loud, right? And then he'd never really talked like we'd been in about three or four times and he'd never sort of came up with something. So he came up with something, sort of smiling in the presence of this other person. And I sort of glanced at her and I think she's kind of she sort of smiled at him or something like that, right? Um... And I went, right, because he went like that, right, and then sort of went away. And then I sat down, and I thought, did I just get the piss taken out of me in French? I thought, he knows I fucking can't speak French. (laughs) He knows. And... Now, there's two possible options. One is he's went like that. Thank you very much for attempting to speak French. Could have said that, right? Thinking I know what that is. Said it sarcastically, knowing that I don't know what it is. Or... Said, here you go, your French is terrible, and so uh, is your country of England, Englishman. He could have said that. I don't know, but I was just like that. Sat down like... No, he might have... He might have... I felt like going back up and going, what you, what you say to me? What did you say to me? I should have done that. Go see now. Go. Get a tran- Google Translate on conversation thing. Go. Do that, do that again. Go. Do that again. Go. Google Translate on. There you go. But, um, no. Uh, so I thought to myself, there wasn't, there wasn't, I mean, it was, it was nothing, everything was fine. I thought to myself, see, next time I go to uh, Paris, I'm going to say to myself, I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try. Speak English, but a French accent. Um, I've heard things like, uh, don't even bother trying to speak French. Don't you? Don't even attempt it. Uh, you'll maybe get the piss taken at you and things like that, or they'll just like ah, they'll just start speaking English like that. Just don't, 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 don't like that. So I'm just gonna go well, go that. Just no, they like the effort. You don't know every French person. You cannot speak for them. What you did there. 
was bang out. No, um, I always say bonjour, that's what you're meant to say. Always say that. It's the most visited place in the world, isn't it? No, that's right, I looked it up a bit, isn't it? It's the most uh, popular, I don't know, city or something, tourist city or something. I know French people who buckle at folk attempting French. No, you don't. You don't know any French people. 